Hey guys, and welcome to 2015 on my channel. This is my first video of the new year. Thank you all so much for being with me. Um, I do think I have some new uh, subscribers, so if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I did have a giveaway that just closed today um, when I'm filming this. It's January 5th, and I did announce the winner. Um, I think I posted it below in the description, but I've also direct messaged you. So if you won, congratulations. I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to send you your new makeup. So this video is gonna be kind of just like a sit down, sort of chatty video, um, and I will apologize because my last video was a similar style. Um, so if you're like, oh my gosh, Daniela, just show me makeup and shut up, then I'm really sorry this video is not gonna have that much makeup in it. Um, it's more of like a new year, new video thing. Uh, I'm really sorry, but I promise the next video will be makeup or beauty related if that's what you're here for, so stay tuned. In the meantime, today I have a couple things to talk about. I kind of just want to tell you guys a little bit about what I've been up to for the past couple of weeks. Um, I've been MIA. I was obviously enjoying Christmas and the new year with my family and my boyfriend and uh, my boyfriend Sean and I, we actually went up to Denver. We drove from Houston, 16-hour um, drive, and we hung out in Denver, Colorado, which was a lot of fun. I definitely love Colorado. I would totally go back, and I would totally drive back. The drive was not bad at all, so if you live in Texas and you're considering driving to Colorado, go for it, um, but stop in between, because we stopped in Amarillo overnight, so that helped a lot. Anyway, totally unrelated to the video I'm doing. In this video, I'm gonna start off by telling you what my New Year's resolutions and goals are, um, and then I'm gonna show you my new planner, um, which is a planner that is completely new to me. I've never had this type of planner before. I'm super excited to try it out. Um, I've already started using it just a little bit. Obviously, we're very you know short into the year right now. So I'm just gonna give you, I guess, like a mini little synopsis of what I think of the planner, and and like I said, tell you about some of my New Year's resolutions. So basically, um, my New Year's resolutions are not really like the rest of the world. So my main resolution or goal for the year is to get more sleep. If you're on the internet, which you have to be to be watching this, you may share a similar problem to me, which is I'm like addicted to the internet and I can't go to bed. I'm just like, I get home from work, I get on the computer, I watch YouTube, I search for stuff, I look at blogs, like, the internet never ends and unfortunately like the day does and so I need to go to bed um, and be able to just like turn off the internet so basically since I have a full-time job um, I get there at 7:45, 8 o'clock every morning I really need to start going to sleep and I'm gonna try like my goal is to really be ready for bed by like 9 30 9 35 and then be in bed at 10 so I know that sounds super early into grandma ish to a lot of you but it's a good New Year's resolution because it's good for my health and it's hopefully going to make me um, more productive during the day when I am awake. So I want to cook more. I bought a cookbook recently and this past year I really fell off of cooking. I used to be really into cooking. In college I cooked like almost all of my meals, especially dinner, and ever since I graduated college I really haven't been cooking. I've just been like getting takeout and whatever, so um, I really want to start cooking more. And obviously I also have like financial goals and goals that are related directly to my work as well. Like I want to make X amount of money or I want to bill X amount to my clients. My goal every single year or my re resolution every year is just to smile more. I am told by a lot of people, which this will be shocking to some people on YouTube because obviously I'm always like happy and smiling on my channel, um, but sometimes in person I have what people refer to as resting bitch face. So when I'm not smiling, I tend to look slightly mean and unapproachable, um, and that's not how I want to look. So I really want to be um, smiling and just more friendly and outgoing whenever I can be. And that has been a re resolution of mine for the past couple of years, and every year I feel like I could still probably be smiling more. So um, may seem kind of silly, but those are my resolutions or my personal goals um, for this year. And then I also really want to be able to do a handstand. Um, or a cartwheel by the end of the year because I've never in my life been able to do a handstand or a cartwheel and I think that's really sad and I really want to be able to do those things. So now that that is done and <laughs> you guys know what my goals are, um, I'm going to show you my planner. 
that I bought for this year for 2015. So typically I have been using Erin Condren planners for the past three years. Um, but this year I decided to make a change. Um, and the reason why I decided to make a change was because my Erin Condren planner just wasn't working for me like it used to. Um, it worked really well for me in college when I didn't have so many things going on in my day because the way the Erin Condren planner is broken up is really just like a morning section, a day section, and a night section. Whatever, that's fine. Um, but lately I've really been wanting to plan like by the hour or like by the half hour, like this is what I'm gonna do, this is where I'm gonna be. Um, and that has a lot to do with my new job. So that kind of had me on the hunt to look for a new planner. Um, and I also felt like the Erin Condren one as fun as it is that it's like customizable and colorful and it has all these cute quotes. I just wanted something a little bit more, I guess, like streamlined, a little bit more adult looking, um, something that was gonna be totally appropriate for working with every day. Not that Erin Condren is not appropriate for that. I mean, it's a personal planner and I loved my Erin Condren, um, but I feel like this one just works a lot better for what I'm doing these days. And so the planner that I went with is the Whitney English Day Designer. Um, it says it's a strategic planner and daily agenda for living a well-designed life. This is quite a bit bigger than the Erin Condren planner. I don't actually have my Erin Condren on me right now. I left it at work because it was there from last year from when I was using it. But yeah, this is quite a bit bigger. I would say the Erin Condren probably is just like a little bit shorter and a little bit skinnier, but this is definitely hefty. Um, and while the Erin Condren cover and the back are like plastic or laminated, this one is like a hard cover. So that's really nice. It's very nice quality, very durable. Um, the one thing I would say is if you're the kind of person who likes to keep this in your purse every day, unless you have like a really big purse, this probably won't fit because it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy and like chunky. So the day designer, one of the things I really, really liked about it and it just had me really inspired for the new year and for making all of these goals is when you open it, the first couple of pages before you even get into any kind of calendar are just really like pages to kind of plan out your year, like envision your goals. I'm actually looking at a page right now that has like four little quadrants. One is family goals, one is financial, the other is career and then spiritual. But then on the next page, it has um, your principles. And this is something that I thought was really cool. Um, and all of these pages are very different. Like Erin Condor doesn't have anything like this, like strategic planning and goal setting, um, which is something that I'm very into. The principles page, um, it says that basically you want to have the core values set for like your brand. Um, this planner is very entrepreneurial. So if you are like a full-time blogger or if you own your own business or you sell stuff on Etsy or whatever, like this is a really good planner for an entrepreneur. I run a full desk as a recruiter. So I do kind of like brand myself as like, hi, I'm Daniela. I'm a recruiter. This is my background. So for me, I really liked this page to kind of like how do I want other people to see me? How do I want to be perceived as a brand kind of thing? Um, so you can actually go to like a Whitney English section of her website and she has all of these words to pick from to kind of help you identify your brand. So I will share with you some of the things that I put down. I wrote that I wanted to create a culture of abundance, health, accountability, adventure, coolness, craftiness, curiosity. They're all the kind of these words that I just want to like associate with myself kind of deal. And so that's really cool. And I think that it's just kind of unique and I had never really thought stuff out like that before. Um, and reading the words on her website were super inspiring to be like, oh yes, I want to be like that. And no, maybe that's not kind of the word I want to associate with myself. So that was just kind of a really fun tool. Um, and I filled up the whole page already. So. The next couple of pages are pretty empty. Um, they are passions, powers, um, for if you're planning your brand and then you can bring it all together and you have this huge strategic brand plan with all of these different Venn diagrams and it's just very intricate. Um, you can make your goal measurable on one page. Um, they have your yearly goal setting broken down onto another page. Um, then it goes into the year at a glance where you have the entire year on a calendar. 
Um, and then you have just some important things and a victory list where you can write maybe some of the goals that you've accomplished throughout the year as they happen. Um, and then you just get started on to the months. And all of the months are tabbed, just like in the Erin Condren planner. Um, they're like laminated tabs. Unlike Erin Condren, all of the tabs are the same color and they only have tabs for January through December. They don't have miscellaneous like note tabs and calendar tabs. It's all, each tab is a month. So the main thing that attracted me to the Whitney English is the fact that you get a whole page for each day. So in the Erin Condren Planner, you have a two page spread for a week. So you're only getting like a third or a quarter of a page for one day. So that wasn't really working for me. Like I said, I just have a lot of things I wanna put down in one day. Um, so with the Whitney English, you get a whole day or a whole page for each day. Um, at the top, you've got like top three priority tasks or things you wanna get done. Um, it has a schedule. So like I said, hour by hour or even by half hour, you can write in up in the top right column. They've got a section for like what's due that day. Um, so maybe if you are in school, that could be a good place to put your assignments or maybe if you're paying bills and you have a bill due one day, um, you can kind of write a little blurb and plan out your dinner. I mean, the dollars section you could probably use for anything like, um, and then the don't forget, just like a friendly little re reminder. And then it's got an, another to-do list and then two little spaces at the bottom to download from the day and then a space to put in your daily gratitude, which I really like because I really like reflecting at the end of the day and if you can come up with one thing that you're really thankful for, I don't know, I just feel like it really lifts my spirits and helps me take on the next day. It really helps me take on any problems that come my way when I can think of things that I'm grateful for. I'm like, okay, you know, that's not going so well right now, but at least I still have this or at least this is going really well. So. That is really nice. Um, and then also in the very top right corner of every page, they have like a little inspirational quote. Um, so on this one, they have a Japanese proverb saying, fall seven times, stand up eight. Um, every single day is the same, except for on the weekends, um, instead of get it, getting a whole page for Saturday and a whole page for Sunday. But um, like I said, I'm gonna be using this mostly for planning out my work day, so I don't anticipate needing a full page for the weekend. Um, so I think this is gonna work out really well for me. I'm extremely excited to get started and really start using it. Um, I think I also forgot to mention that on the actual like tab page for each month, they do have um, on the page that's like I guess like the card, like the thicker page, they have notes. So you can just kind of take notes there every day for the month. And I really like how they're at the beginning of each month because in the Erin Condren planner, all of the notes pages were together at the back. So I would find myself like writing some notes, you know, at the beginning of the year, and then I would go back to write some more notes towards the end of the year, and they're like mixed up with the notes from the beginning of the year, and it's like, doesn't really make sense. The very last couple of pages of the planner are just to write down any important dates for the upcoming new year, so for 2016. So and it does have like gold, I guess, I don't really know how to say this, it has like gold like protection on all of the little corners to keep it from getting like messed up or frayed or whatever. And then the um, actual binding on it is like nice, I think they're circle rings, but they're really like big and good quality. That is uh, my Whitney English planner and I'm super excited about it. And I'll tell you guys, the way I actually came across this planner is I was watching someone's Erin Condren review um, who had previously been using the Whitney English. And she was talking about how um, the Whitney English wasn't working for her because she, it was like for planning out every hour and she doesn't do that. And I was like, oh, perfect. That's what I do. That's what I need. Um, so it was kind of funny because she was like talking about the Erin Condren and I ended up getting the Whitney English. And so the one thing I would say is when I ordered this, they were like all sold out of every single cover except for this blue um, gingham pattern. So this probably wouldn't have been my pattern of choice. I really love the classic thick black and white stripes, um, but I ordered it pretty last minute there. I ordered it towards the end of December. So um, next year I'll be more prepared. I can order it a little bit earlier and maybe get the cover that I really want, but it's not a really big deal to me. Um, like I said, this planner isn't so much about the colors and the designs. It's more about 
the content. So um, if that's something that you're looking for, or if you're in the market for a new planner, this could be a great option if you don't have one for 2015 yet. So yeah, I would love if you guys shared with me what your New Year's goals and resolutions, or if you want to tell me what planner you use. I love planners. I'm like a stationary school supply nerd. That stuff makes me so happy. I love like pens and planners and highlighters and notepads and post-its whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. And I hope you enjoyed hearing about my New Year's resolutions and my new planner. Congratulations to the winner of my giveaway. I hope you all have an amazing, happy, healthy, wealthy New Year in 2015. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate the support. Bye.